In this video I will show you how to set up the Oki Data Printer 320 or 321. I will also show you how to print out the manufacturer settings for this printer. The main difference between the 320 and 321 is the 321 has a wider carriage. This is used for printing out forms that are wider than 8.5 inches. The setup procedure is exactly the same for both. Today we will be setting up the Oki Data 320. First thing we need to do is make sure the power switch is on. The power switch is located on the right side towards the back. Once the power light is on, in the front you'll notice the alarm light also comes on. This is because the printer recognizes that there's no paper in the printer. Before we load paper in the printer, we want to make sure the guides are set properly. You'll notice there's a left hand guide and a right hand guide. The left hand guide needs to come all the way to the right until it hits the stop. Then we're going to back it off one eighth of an inch. Now place a piece of paper in the printer. You'll notice the alarm light goes off. Once the paper is in the printer you want to take the guide on the right hand side and push it to the left until it's snug up against a piece of paper. You are now ready to start printing on your Oki Data printer. Before we start printing forms, we need to print out the manufacturer settings to make sure they are set to work with LotWizard. To print out the manufacturer settings, we need to get the printer in menu mode. To accomplish this, we need to hold down the shift button and press the menu button on the front of the printer. If the menu light does not come on, you may need to power off the printer for a few moments and power it back on. After you have the power back on, try it again. Hold down the shift button and press the menu button. The menu light should now be on. Now that the menu light is on, we need to press the print button on the front of the printer. This will print out your manufacturer settings. Go ahead and press print. After the manufacturer settings have been printed, we need to get the printer out of menu mode. We accomplish this the same way we got into menu mode. Hold the shift button down, press the menu button, and the menu light will go out. You are now out of menu mode. Now that we printed out the manufacturer settings, let's take a look at the printout. Yours should be similar to mine, except for the coloring. I have done this to explain the printout to you. Notice the three categories up top, group, items, and settings. I have made the font group yellow, and the item within the font group I have made blue, and the item setting I have made green. Now we need to check a few items on this printout to make sure they are set properly to work with LotWizard. At the top of the printout, you'll see the printer control group, which has the emulation mode item. This needs to be set to IBM or IBM PPR. Now scroll down the printout on the left side and find the top feed group and go to the second item, bottom margin. This item needs to be set to invalid. Further down on the printout you will see the setup group. Find the paper out override item in this group. It must be set to yes. A little further down in the same group, the setup group, you will find the auto select item. This is an optional setting. If you want the select button to light up when you feed paper into the printer, then this item needs to be set to yes. Otherwise, if you want to manually press the select button after you load paper and before printing, then it needs to be set to no. If you need to change any of the manufacturer settings on your Oki Data Printer, you will need to find and watch the video on how to change your manufacturer settings on the Oki Data Printer. So this is how you set up the Okidata printer 320 or 321 and print out the manufacturer settings.